Hi, welcome back to my channel, my dear lovely viewers. Um, this time around, I'll be showing you guys for those who have been having issues trading on Arbitrum chain. I'll be guiding you on how to go about trading on Arbitrum chain now. So what you need to do is the most important thing is setting up uh, Arbitrum uh, network, then followed by. <clears throat> okay, let me just show you how to go about setting up Arbitrum chain. You open. I'll just open the new tab. Go to your MetaMask. You need an Arbitrum chain for you to get an and for you to get an Arbitrum chain. You need to open chain lists, as we all know. For those who who have been following my videos, you know how this goes. So just go to chainlist.org, which you connect your wallet. Just turn on uh, Arbitrum chain. You know we have Arbitrum Nova. Then we'll have Arbitrum 1. So what we need is Arbitrum 1, not Arbitrum Nova. So you need to get that straight. You need to take note of that. So here. Yeah. This Kanto, I need to switch network. I'm trying to log in first. Let's go back. This, I'm picking a wrong network. Here. Yeah. We're going to Arbitrum 1. This is it. This is Arbitrum 1. So as you can see, this is Arbitrum 1. You need, you need, uh, the ETH we have here is not like the normal Ethereum. It's actually normal Ethereum, but on Arbitrum 1 network. So I know all of you will be wondering, how do I get this? You can see this is Arbitrum 1 network. As you can see here, it is Arbitrum 1. You can see this is normal Ethereum minute. There is Ethereum minute. There is Arbitrum Nova. There is Arbitrum 1. As I said, you are picking Arbitrum 1. So you just search here for Arbitrum 1. For those who are here to add it to their MetaMask, so you can see there's Arbitrum 1, there's Arbitrum on XDAI, and there's Arbitrum Nova. So this is the one you need right now, Arbitrum 1. Just click on Connect Wallet. Once you click on Connect Wallet, it automatically pop up on your MetaMask. Whether you are using phone or you are using PC, anyone you're using, it will work. So what you need to do, if you're using your mobile phone, you can connect your wallet with Chrome, then it will redirect you to your MetaMask, or you go through your MetaMask, uh, MetaMask dApps, then use the MetaMask browser. But I always prefer you to use Chrome because I feel MetaMask is always slow for me. So I just use uh, Chrome, then I connect to MetaMask browser. I'll use Chrome as an external uh, browser. So once you have a bit from one here, uh, set up on your MetaMask. So here you can see this is now the address where you want to deposit to Arbitrum One. Copy this address. If you have your Ethereum on, you make sure your you, your phone, your USDT, or whatever you want to use to swap is on a an exchange that that supports withdrawal of Arbitrum One. Binance is one of them. I use Binance, so you just go to Binance. This is my Binance here. As you can see on Binance. ETH, go to ETH, Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. Just search for ETH. This is Ethereum. So here, as you can see, this is the normal Ethereum. So here, you come down here, come to network. You now select Arbitrum 1. You can see this is Arbitrum 1. And it is gas, it is fee free. It doesn't they don't charge you they charge you nothing you won't be charged anything for withdrawal on binance as long as it is arbitrum one network so once you click on arbitrum one by then you must if it is usdt you're having in your binance account make sure you switch the usdt into um you switch your usdt into uh you sell you swap rather swap and buy ethereum so that you can withdraw ethereum so and if it's usdc let me check i've never tried it but i just want to check there is USDC Arbitrum network here. Okay, this one there's no point, it's charged more, so just use ETH. I think it's better. Just use ETH. This one is far better because it's zero fee. Just click on Arbitrum one, impute your ad the address that the address you copied from MetaMask, just impute it here. So once you impute it. Then you select the network which is Arbitrum 1. So as you select Arbitrum 1, 
So you just impute the amount of your choice. So you can see I don't have Ethereum in my wallet. I withdraw everything I have to my Bitcoin network. So you just impute the amount you have, then you make withdrawal. So it will automatically drop your MetaMask wallet. Your MetaMask wallet. So it will drop here and your balance will reflect here under this network. That's Arbitrum 1. So now for you to now trade on Arbitrum network, there are two, I can show you two different ways by which you can go about uh, trading. For example, for those who are who have been wondering on how to go about buying NTP, Uniswap. Uniswap is the exchange we use to buy, to trade Arbitrum tokens. So here, you just go to swap. Once you search for Uniswap, go to Swap. So once you go to Swap like this, <clears throat> when buying anything, you must have gotten, if it is not a verified asset, it is just newly launched, like NTP that everyone has been trying, I told guys to buy from my group, you can see it's not listed, it's not a verified token yet. So now you cannot find it here, you need to use a search engine. All the search aggregators to search for the token example is a uh, deck screener on deck screener you need to take note of the pair as well so on deck screener now we'll search for ntp you know there are sometimes there are there, you will find cloned um tokens that will be carrying the same name so i'll search for ntp now make sure you are searching the right one like mine now, I know the name and I know the market cap and every other thing if I see it. So this is it, that's 42k. It's currently in serious dip. So now, you can just copy the, you can just come here, come down here, this is NTP. Just click on this sign to copy. Once you click on it, you copy it, then you go here, click on the token, Ctrl V. So you can see it has popped up. And this is the amount I have. I actually have some of it, so you can see. Then I'll click and understand. So now here, for you that don't have, this is the amount of ETH you have, Ethereum. So here you can just click zero point. For example, I want to use zero point zero one to buy, to trade NTP. So once I impute the amount, you can see the reason why it's showing this swap anyway is showing this um price impact is actually because if you check here. The pool, it said it is USDC, USD. It's actually USDC, a USD pair. So now, for you to buy this token, now you need USDC, not Ethereum. So it is USDC you use to buy it. So now, for you to buy now, you need to swap your Ethereum to USDC first. But if it is showing, you can use ETH. That means you don't need to swap to USDC. Just use your ETH to buy directly. But this one, it means you have to swap to this USDC first. For example, you can see. You can now swap to USDC first. Once you swap to USDC, it is now this USDC you have that you now use. It will now be like this. It will be USDC to NTP. It will be USDC to NTP. That's when you can now swap. So now I don't have any USDC, so I won't be able to really swap anything. So you can see here, you can see it's now showing swap freely. So this amount I have, it can swap into NTP. And it will buy some NTP. So that's one thing about this type, uh, this particular type of trade. So now, but for others that have ETH, you just use ETH directly. So for those who have been wondering, ah, it's showing liquidity, no enough liquidity, it's showing this, it's showing that. That is all you need to do. That's one way of buying. And for example, maybe you want to buy, you 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 want to buy direct. You can actually buy direct. You can actually go to trading directly from Dex Cleaner. Maybe once you open here, you don't want to start copying, going to Uniswap, and so on and so forth. This is what you need to do. Just click this. Trade on Uniswap. Just click Trade on Uniswap. So you see, once it's pop up, I know some of you don't even have idea this exists. You've been seeing it, but you don't know how it works. So now, once you come here, just click on, if you're using ETH to buy USDC or whatever it is you're using. If I'm, For example, you're using ETH, you just input it here. You know, even though, as, as I said earlier, that it, you can't buy with it, let me just use the USDC pair that, that works. So you just click here. You can see, you don't need to go to Uniswap separately. It will take you directly to Uniswap from here. It's where you will trade from here. So here, it's actually showing um, 
trap anyway. So sometimes it does it does that. So once you clear this, you just click swap. You can see. Click swap from this place. It will now redirect me. It will now redirect me to MetaMask. You can see MetaMask by this side. So I can just come here. You can see the confirm is now highlighted. I'll click on confirm. It's trying to confirm the transaction. You can see success. Transaction confirmed transaction. So it's successful. So now that means I've swapped successfully. So you can see it's so easy. So if you want to swap back, it's just for you to just switch this way. Then NTP will be up, USDC will be down. It is better if, since it is USDC pay. If you actually swap to ETH, it will work. But I will advise since it is USDC pay, just swap back to USDC. Then if whatever you want to trade next is actually is um uh what is it called is uh ETH pay. You can now swap USDC to uh and uh, to ETH then. Though the thing is currently dropping, but I don't know, it might eventually come back up. It's a degen something, so something that you just you risk some uh, amount you want you feel you can risk. So that's how it works. So now that is how to go about it. So the most important thing is that this thing will give you idea. It will give you an oh, idea on how to trade on Arbitrum. It might not be this token. You might decide not to buy this one on whatever call. I make after this one you can you can go into it and you can also make your own research to check for any token you wish you want to buy from this chain as i have said earlier i have shown i've made a video on how to be a uh, professional degen trader how to make your research if you don't know how to go about that search through my video on how to be a degen trader a degen expert you see it you can search for you can use that video it's actually on i think it was vsc network i used or algorand chain i can't remember why not whatever chain you're using it is the same procedure it takes for you to for, for you to for you to actually do the research so there is nothing too serious about it for arbitrum now for you to do research on arbitrum on token you want to buy all you need to do is to just click on uh, on arbitrum you can just come here just say maybe for example tokens within laugh you can just rank and filter come here you can just speak maybe um can just pick buys for example liquidity minimum liquidity should be like 1000 minimum then you can just say pay age i will pick age uh, like one hour for example and i'll just apply you see the tokens that have been uh created within this particular period of time okay no this is too much I will select buy descending 1000 max. I will say and use max of 100,000, for example, so that it will, it will streamline the number of tokens that will pop up. So you can see, you can actually you can check. Oh, it's showing this one because I actually selected buys. But that's how to go about it. I don't want to prolong the video. You can just watch my video on how to be a good gen trader and so on so to avoid um wasting more time so that's how to go about it the most important thing is everyone now gets how to trade on arbitrum chain so uh, and i believe if you have any question or any anything any suggestion any question any query any misunderstand uh, whatever it is you have you can drop it for me in the video description section uh in the video comment section and I will also drop the links you might be needing, the Dex Cleaner and uh, Uniswap uh, Uniswap link in the video description section so that you can have easy access to it, which is app.uniswap.org. So thank you very much, guys. See you in my next video. Thanks. Bye, guys.